Hello YouTube, welcome to another video. So today we have 2016, 17, 13 inch MacBook Pro, the USB-C model. These MacBooks are entirely different from the previous generation MacBooks. The way they work, the way they function and the power taking mechanism, everything is so different in this. So this came in to us, which doesn't turn as, a, so this particular MacBook has come to us with a complaint of not turning on. Randomly it stopped working. So let's, so this is the USB-C amp meter which we use. It's connected. It's taking 20 volts at 0 0.01 amps. So usually in these USB-C models, where it's showing 20 volts, if the board is dead, if the logic board is dead, it should actually show 5 volts. That means the USB-C port controllers have died. But here it's showing 20 volts. It should actually take 20 volts and it is taking 20 volts. Surprisingly, it is taking 20 volts, but there's only one milliamp draw. So let's inspect under the microscope first for any corrosion or something. And uh, I will resume the video from there. So this is the logic board, the other side of the logic board. And I have found the culprit. Let me show you under the microscope. You can see the corroded resistor just above the PMIC you can see green and orange stuff right so that's the corrosion so that is the PMIC PMIC stands for power management integrated circuit so a resistor around that PMIC is corroded so let's replace that particular resistor and check how much amps it's taking at 20 volts. I'll just replace the resistor and resume the video from there. So people, the repair is done. So if you can see, we have run a tiny wire. Just for the sake of a little bit of structural strength, we just changed the direction of the resistor. I'll show it to you under the microscope. Uh, here we go. One, two, three. Can you see that? We have just a little bit of diversion. The resistor should be straight, but I have uh, just for the sake of a little bit structural strength, I have changed its direction. A little bit of extra wire. That's okay, not a problem. So the moment of truth. Let's connect the power uh, and see how does it behave now. Twenty volts, seventeen six hundred milliamps, five fifty nine, five hundred milliamps, six hundred milliamps. Great, this board is turning on. So let's put this board back into the casing and check. So before that, now this board is fixed. I need to do a little bit of uh, correction or probably a little bit of more work here. So I am going to. Uh, cover this wire with a green UV mask. I'll clean the mess with uh, alcohol a little bit more so that the extra flux goes away. So once the cleaning is done, I will be covering it with green UV mask and I'll be resuming the video from there. So you can see the green UV coat right above the PMIC. I'll show it to you under the microscope. So this is how it looks. We have covered the jumper under the UV mask, now oh, it's rock solid there. So I'll put this MacBook back in the casing and I'll get back to you from there. Hopefully this is a fix. So the MacBook is assembled. So let's plug in the power and see what it does now. Shall it, will it work or will it boot or? 20 volts. 600 milliamps, fan is spinning, it should post now, yeah we got a backlight, Apple logo, this is working, another win, MacBook fixed,
battery shows exclamation mark. I really don't know why. I think the battery might have gone dead. I can see a red color of this thing here. The lid. It's probably this might got liquid damaged. As I can see a uh, liquid damage sensor turning red here. If you can notice. So, so the battery might have stopped working. So just covering the name for security reasons. Yet again, MacBook fixed. Thanks for watching.